Um, well, you, you know, you were just talking about change, and they all heard what you just said. So, when you were young, I mean, what was on your mind at that time? Oh, man. I, I, like I said, I, I grew up on a farm with no electricity, no neighbors, no society. So, I was a little jaded with the struggles that were occurring around me until I came back to Los Angeles. Wait, wait, so you were like around it already and you just didn't, it wasn't well, something different for you? Well, it was like basically coming from nature to the city and realizing that with that change comes all the drama that comes with, you know, society, so, you know. So, so if you had one tip to the youth out there that, you know, maybe they're saying, hey, I can't do anything, what, what would be your message to them? Oh, you can do everything. You tell the youth that, uh, the youth empower the, the people today and the time and the change and and uh, it's really all about the youth there there isn't any more stronger more powerful unit that we have than a powerful hey, youth Johnny. that is uh, willing to educate willing to support willing to make those those um, those intelligent moves right right and not the radical moves now tell us you know you're here at Twilight you got a lot of exposure I mean first of all when you heard that you're gonna be in it what was your reaction uh, I was a little speechless I was very honored and flattered and and I didn't really understand the nature of what Twilight was was about right the Twilight phenomenon has brought me uh, Leaps so and bounds. You didn't know beforehand. You were just oh okay. Yeah, You're just like yeah, that sounds yeah. like a nifty title. I, yeah. I guess I'll do it, right? You, you know so what projects are you, you talking about? You gotta take work when you <laughs> gotta take work. You know, I didn't know what to do. So. That's true. So what's coming on down the line? Oh, I got I got a Western horror flick coming out called The Den of the Damned. I believe it's the only Western horror to have a Native American as a lead. Wow, really? I do. And then um, let's see, we what's have some major changes there. I mean, oh, I have a, I have a, a lot of projects on the table right now. Good, good, a lot good. of I've been very blessed. I'm very honored and and for your fans that are watching right now, where they where can they get you at? Facebook, Twitter? Uh, you can get me at rickmora.com. I'm at Facebook and MySpace at Native Rick Mora. I'm at YouTube at Native Rick Mora 007. And, uh, <laughs> That's cool. You can Google me and spend endless hours. Do, do you do your own or do you let somebody else do it? Uh, I'm sorry? Do you do your own or do you let somebody else do it for you? Oh, no, I have a team. Got a team, team, just so you know. Team. Yes, I got a team. So all those little messages, you girls. <laughs> I get every message, and I try to answer every one of them. Very good. Thank you so right. much for ta taking so much some for time with us. Thank you. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Can we have our, our publicist would like uh, ask if you could sign her book? Of course. She's a huge... She tried to get in the actual premiere, but we weren't able to get to that. And so I told her we were doing this, and she said, oh, my God, I need him. All right, I just embarrassed her in front of everybody. It's, it's all good. No worries. <laughs> Thank pleasure. you so much for taking Thank a moment you. with us. Thank you.